Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. My name is Billy. Uh, today we are unboxing the Warner Brothers Mystery Minis. Now, this may look like a full untouched case, but it is not. Uh, I got this at Hot Topic and there were a few missing and then there were a couple extras over on another shelf so I kind of put them all together and made a case. So I'm not going to do a layout but I am going to do 12 mystery minis and I am going to give you the weights in the description below. So I'm super excited about these uh, mostly because I'm a huge Looney Tunes fan but I think that this is a very strange collection of characters to put together mostly because it's kind of Hanna-Barbera and Looney Tunes put together which I think is weird because when I think Warner Brothers, I don't think Hanna-Barbera at all. Um, but this is just what they made. So I would, I would take a whole Looney Tunes set before this, but it, it is what it is. All right, so here are all the characters that you can get. Uh, this is the standard box. Hot Topic does not have exclusives. So here are the uh, characters that you can get. Uh, highlights for me would be Foghorn Leghorn, Marvin, uh, and then Bugs and Daffy, obviously. Those are the ones that I definitely want. I'd also like Quick Draw, McGraw. That would be awesome. Uh, I And Huckleberry Hound would also be cool. I would have loved if there was Top Cat in here, too. That would have been really, really cool. Uh, Walgreens has exclusives. I believe that they have Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner, maybe. Maybe they have Speedy Gonzales. I'm not 100% sure. Um... And then Target's going to have exclusives, and then Toys R Us has exclusives, and I can't remember what they have. I think Toys R Us might have the Jetsons characters in theirs. Um, so yeah, once those start showing up, I'm going to get more and more, but I wanted to get a standard box so we could go through these and, and you guys could get a chance to see them. All right, first one, here we go. When you do scale something, it's important to make sure that you are leaving the wrapper on. Um, if you are going to just scale your figure, you have to account for the weight of the wrapper, the weight of the box, and the weight of the inside wrapper as well. So, um, anyway, let's get into this. 48.2. 48.2 is this one. All right, and we have our first Bugs Bunny. He is a one in six. I am expecting to get at least two of these. Uh, Bugs Bunny will be one that I get two of probably. Uh, also, Yogi, Marvin, and... Uh, Daffy are also one in sixes. So this is the first Bugs Bunny. I, I'm okay with the Bugs Bunny. Actually, of, of the um, Looney Tunes ones, he's actually probably my least favorite of the designs that they've done. I just think his face looks really lazy. Um, I'm not really too into that. But as a collectible, um, getting something from Looney Tunes is really kind of difficult to get uh, Looney Tunes things that look really good. So I, I am pretty into this. All right, this one's a 48.8, so this could be another Bugs, um, and I did pull them both from the front. Maybe this is an untouched box. Who knows? So the thing that I have noticed on these two is there's some weird stuff going on in the face as far as the paint goes. Uh, this one here is a little off-center there with the paint, and then uh, this one's got some extra paint there on the side on his eye. So there's some weird stuff going on with the paint on these, um, so I'm not too happy about those. Okay, this one is a 57.4 and we have a Fred Flintstone. There's uh, old Fred right there in his glory. I actually like the Fred Flintstone. I think he looks really good. Um, yeah, I'm actually not disappointed with that at all. I will say the one thing that's kind of got me on this set is if there's a Fred Flintstone, why is there not a Barney? There's no Barney and he's not an exclusive anywhere. So that's a little upsetting. Um, there's a Dino, but that's the only other Flintstones character. It's kind of like the Jetsons. There's an Elroy, but there's no, and, and there's an Astro, but there's no other Jetsons. All right, this one's a 61.1, and we have got our Yogi, probably the first of a couple Yogis. Uh, I like this, actually. This looks really good, too. I, I am into this. So far, the, the Looney Tunes ones are not been as impressive as the other ones. All right, this one's really light. 44.7. All right, Huckleberry Hound. There he is. Uh, I like this one too. I think really the, the issue that I had with that Bugs Bunny is all the white paint. I think when you've got a figure that's got less going on paint-wise, I think that it, it, it looks a little bit better. All right, we got a 60.6. This is probably another Yogi. Another Yogi figure. Um, 
Again, like I said, I like them. Actually, getting to look at the baskets for the first time, I like the basket. 44.1. So, I hope it's not another Huckleberry. I can't do any more of these duplicates. This is killing me already. Man, you wouldn't think he'd be so heavy, but this is Jerry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like the Jerry. He, he's little. He's heavy. His head's real big. Um, I like... I like his face. I like the way that he's he's looking at that cheese. It's really nice. I do like Tom and Jerry. I don't want it to come off like I don't like Tom and Jerry. I'm just really in this for the Looney Tunes is all. Alright, a 55.7. Well, at least I can complete the set. I got the Tom. I do like Tom. That's really cool. And I think them together kind of looks real fun. So, yeah. That's nice. I'm okay with it. 45.5. We haven't seen any Marvins yet, so I'm thinking maybe a Marvin or Daffy. He's also a 1 in 6, so there's Daffy, uh, 45.5. I like the Daffy Duck. Uh, Daffy Duck is probably my personal favorite Looney Tunes character. Um, I just always, I always appreciated Daffy, um, just for the way he is and how wacky and goofy he is as a character. Um, but so I really, I really, really like this one. All right, so I have three left, and then... Uh, there should be another Daffy and then two Marvins if ratios play correctly. So let's see what we get. All right, 46.6. Some interesting discrepancy there on that one. That's about a, a whole gram discrepancy. Usually they aren't, they aren't uh, that different. Um, but between these two Daffys, there's a whole gram of difference. When you look at the scale, it's about 16.3, uh, so all the discrepancy, the gram, is going to be with the box. It's not necessarily with the figure, because they're just about the same weight. If you're really into numbers, you're going to love my channel, I guess. I don't know. I feel like there's just been a lot of numbers today. All right, 56.7. This is real similar to the Fred weight. And I was right, another Fred. I don't like that at all, though. His face, look at this. That little piece of vinyl there that they've messed up on his face. Ugh. That's where his mouth is. That's that's bad. You can barely tell the di like that there's something else there on the other one. But this one, that's, that's not good. All right, this has to be a Marvin the Martian. It's a 1 in 6, and it, it, it's got to be Marvin the Martian. 47.4. Marvin the Martian, right there, with his little flag. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the flag's not like sticking out. Uh, it kind of looks like the flag would be sticking out on the box when you look at it, but it's like right up against his head. Like you have to turn it to see the flag. I like the Marvin the Martian. I, he's also a favorite character of mine. I, I have always been a fan of Marvin's. Um, I like this one. I think that this is really fun. Um, the expression that he's got as well. And you could definitely see putting him right next to a, a Bugs and just him giving that eye right there. I think that's great. So yeah, not a bad set. I like it. Um, I don't like them as much as I enjoy the Disney ones. I think that there's a lot more paint issues with this one. The Disney ones, every one that I pulled was pretty much flawless, I think. Um, so th this one's got a lot more, I feel like, production issues with it. Um, so yeah, that, that's not great. Um, this is a whole lot of commons, basically. I didn't get anything really all that special in this. Um, you know, and I, you can't be too mad about it, though. I mean, if Foghorn Leghorn's a, a, a 1 in 72, and Quick Draw McGraw is a 1 in 72, and Boo Boo's a 1 in 36, like, you kind of have to roll with it when you just kind of get an all common box. But yeah, I like it. Uh, I'm glad that they're putting out more of these Hanna-Barbera things, these Looney Tunes things. This is stuff that I really was was raised on more than the Disney Afternoon stuff. I think that this was this was more of an influential thing for me. So I, I am really happy that this set is out and it exists. Uh, so that is it for the Warner Brothers Mystery Minis unboxing and me as well. I will uh, put the weights to the ones that I have here in the description below. Of course, uh, why don't you leave a comment? That would be awesome uh, to hear what your thoughts are on this. Uh, what, would, what else you might want to have seen in this set as well. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Like, share. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, until next time.